Okay, so uh, we're going to look at vector addition using the head to tail method for the moment, and I'm using the FET program. So uh, let's take a look here, uh, just to kind of let you see what's happening here. When I grab uh, a uh, vector, it comes out, and that vector is recognized as a length. That's going to be R, uh, absolute value of R, so it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative, it's still going to be just R. The angle here, 84.3 degrees in this case, that's measured with the x-axis. So I'm going to put the grid on here and now you can kind of see where x and y are. So that's going to be theta is measured from the x-axis. Uh, don't worry about these so much right now. We'll talk about those a little bit later. So I'm going to take this vector right here and I'm going to place him at my starting point, which is arbitrary and I'll make him, let's see, I'm going to make this guy uh, 14, 15 units long. It doesn't matter what the unit is, it's just 15. I'm going to add to that another vector. So if I'm going to put this vector, I'm going to make them perpendicular for the moment, and I'm going to make this guy uh, a 5 unit vector. That is not vector addition. Because here you can see that there is a tail and a tail. These are tail to tail. That is not vector addition. In order to uh, add vectors, we're going to use the vector addition method called head to tail. So I'm going to take either one of these. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to take this vertical one and move him out to the head of the first vector. So now I've got this head to tail head of the first vector to the tail of the second vector. The resultant, the vector sum, comes from the tail of the first, from the, our starting point, from the alpha to the omega. So I'm going to click this and it gives me an automatic length. And I just need to put it right where it's supposed to be. So it goes from the beginning to the end. You can see that when I add these two vectors together, this is what I end up with. So if I were, if in this particular case, if this vector is 15 meters and this vector is 5 meters, I've walked 20 meters. But as a bird flies, I'm only 15.8 meters away from my, from my starting position and I am 18.4 degrees above the x-axis. And that is vector addition, head to tail. So we can add as many of these as we want to. If I bring in another one, and I'll add this guy, head to tail, put him there. So now we're non-perpendicular. I'll bring in another one, put him over here, go this way. I'll bring in another one, if I can grab it, and start again. I'm going head to tail head to tail, head to tail. So where is my resultant going to be? Where is going to be the vector sum? It goes from the beginning to the end. So this is the where the, my resultant is going to go. So I'm going to show my sum and you can see that's what it does. And it goes from the beginning, from the alpha to the omega. So that's the vector sum. Let's look at uh, another example. Here, I'm just going to bring some vectors in and I'm going to put them randomly. Not even going to worry about the links or the directions. Okay, and so I get that guy. So there you go. Add those together. Well, I'm going to add this one. I'm going to put him right there. And I'll take this guy and I'm going to put him right there. I'll take this guy and I'll put him right here. And then I'll take this one and put him head to tail. So where's my resultant going to be? Where's my, where am I going to end up if this were displacement? Here's where I started. That's where I'm going to end up. Show the sum. And we would draw that to right there. So from the alpha to the omega. Let's look at another one. Let's see if I can change some directions here. I can get him to I'll go there. I go. These things are hard to get a hold of. There we go. 
and here, and let's do one more. Let's go here. Okay. So let's just choose. Let me start here. I'm going to start with this one. I'll put him there. That's my starting position. And then I'll take this guy and put him head to tail. I'll take this guy, put him, whoops, put him, whoops, come on. Grab him and go. Why aren't you grabbing? There we go. I don't like that direction. There. We go there, head to tail, and then head to tail again. The resultant is going to go from the beginning to the end, so it's going to go right there. Okay? All right. So, one thing here, let's take a look and see if I can rearrange this and see the the uh, solution again. So, I'm going to move this guy here. And so this is I'll start here. So, I'm still starting there. I'm going to start there. And then I will bring him and put him up there. And then I will bring move this guy out of the way head to tail. So all I'm doing is rearranging the order of addition head to tail and then there you go, head to tail. Again, the order of addition changed gives me the same position. I didn't even move the vector sum. So the order of addition, because addition is commutative, it doesn't matter. Alright, so that is head to tail vector addition.